Welcome to the Real Results for Life podcast. In this episode, I'm going to share with you what medical weight loss is, what we do at Real Results, and I'm going to give you the four main reasons that people who are doing everything right are still not reaching the results that they are striving towards. Are you struggling with weight loss despite trying everything? You're not alone. Welcome to the Real Results for Life podcast, where we dive deep into the secrets of sustainable weight loss. I'm your host, Jamie Young, founder of Real Results Medical Weight Loss, located in Kennesaw, Georgia. With over 10 years in the medical weight loss industry, I've successfully guided hundreds of clients to their dream weights. In this podcast, we will explore the keys to sustainable weight loss and make healthy choices an important part of your lifestyle. At Real Results, we offer comprehensive solutions from online programs and medical appetite suppressants to personalized one-on-one coaching. Join me on this transformative journey to discover and embrace the best version of yourself ensuring you look and feel great both from the inside out. Together, let's achieve lasting results, starting today and continuing for life. Hi friends, let me tell you about the type of person that we take care of at Real Results. The clients that I work with have tried everything to lose weight and they just cannot get results. They have heard it all, fad diets, what to eat, what not to eat, count macros. And they have heard just eat less and exercise more and you'll lose weight. And they are so discouraged when they have tried it all and have failed. And I'm here to tell you guys that if it was that simple, eat less and exercise more, then we would not have an obesity problem in the United States. I have seen it hundreds of times. People end up in my office and they're at a complete loss as how to get the weight off. Before we get started, please remember that the information we share here is for educational purposes and from personal experience. Each individual's health, fitness, and nutrition needs are unique. Therefore, please consult a healthcare provider before making any changes to your diet or exercise routine. Let's learn together responsibly and make informed decisions about our health. Enjoy the show. What do you do next? So you pick up the phone and you call and you say, all right, I've tried everything. I can't lose weight. What do I do now? So at Real Results, the company I founded in 2017, we design every single program individually based on your medical history, your lifestyle, your budget, and your goals. So when I tell you that no two programs are the same, I really mean it. No two bodies are the same. So you can't have a one size fits all approach. And that's what a lot of clinics around the country are doing. And it just, it does work for some. And that that's really an important side note is that every diet works for someone. Every type of program works for someone but one size is not fit all. And so when you are looking to lose weight and you are in this position that you are just ready and you're trying to figure out what to do, you need to find a program like ours that will tailor it specifically to your individual needs. How we start that process at Real Results is we do a free consultation. Free consultation is when we look at those things, your lifestyle. Um, Lifestyle, for example, we're not going to give a pilot the same type of program as a uh, educator, someone that's in the classroom running around with kiddos from nine to three or eight to four, or an accountant who's stuck at a desk, right? Those lifestyles are different. So it has to be tailored to fit. It's like, you know, putting, putting a round peg in a square hole. If it's not going to work, it's not going to be long-term. And we really want your results to be long-term. So we go through and we decide on a new start package. We have a variety of them and some of them, some people just need the coaching and the lifestyle um, support and that accountability. And so they won't incorporate prescriptions or they might not incorporate labs to kind of dive deep into that. And that's okay. That's why we have that package for them. Some people, hunger is an issue. So there are three types of hunger that I can dive into in another episode if that interests you. 
And they, we have several different medication options and combinations of the options to really tailor what kind of hunger that you struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis. And then we have our um, metabolic issues. So there are four main reasons metabolically that keep people from losing weight or prevent people from losing weight. Okay. So four main reasons to keep people from losing weight or make them gain weight. There are four main reasons that keep people from losing weight or even make them gain weight. The first one is thyroid issues. And I was having this conversation literally yesterday with a new client and they said, Jamie, I just had a physical done and they said my thyroid was normal. And I kindly replied, normal, normal doesn't mean optimal for weight loss. So just because you're in normal range doesn't mean that it can't be um, perfected so that you can optimize your body to burn fat. During this show, you're going to hear me say, optimize your body to burn fat all the time, because that's what we're all about. We've got to make sure that we are doing that for you. So thyroid issues, we want to make sure that you are not struggling with that. Reason number two, hormone imbalances. So no matter what gender you are or what age you are, hormone imbalances can prevent you from losing weight or looking and feeling your best to be perfectly honest. So on the men's side of things, you hear low testosterone, right? It's very common. And with low testosterone, it's hard to build muscle. If you, it's hard to build muscle, then it's hard to burn fat. So by increasing testosterone to normal and optimal levels, you can increase that lean mass, drop that fat mass and uh, feel better overall on the men's side. Women's side, women need testosterone too. So if, as we age, if, if our testosterone bottoms out, we are going to have issues. And so we need all those female hormones and we need them to be balanced or our body is not going to do what we want it to do. And reason number three is PCOS. So PCOS stands for polycystic ovarian syndrome. And this is something in a very specific hormone imbalance in women uh, that goes widely undiagnosed. I'm actually going to have my medical director on the show, and we're going to go through each of these in future episodes. So definitely if all of this interests you either go find those, if you're listening to this, um, from, if you're listening to this in the future, so definitely go back and listen to those if they're already available, but they're coming out later this year. Reason number three, PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. This is in women and it goes widely undiagnosed. And it is actually your, this is that whole normal versus optimal thing I was telling you about a second ago. So it, your levels are normal. The ratios are just wrong. And so if you have a practitioner who isn't looking for it, then they're probably going to miss it. And so we are weight loss specialists in here. We know that if you have PCOS, you're going to struggle losing weight and we can fix that. That's the thing. If we fix it and then put the effort in, you're going to get the results that you've been missing by just putting effort in and not treating these underlying issues. Reason number four, insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is in kind of a normal term is your body is not processing carbohydrates correctly. So when your body is not processing carbohydrates correctly, carbohydrates are one of the three main energy sources, right? You've got carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. And then the fourth one is alcohol. So just three main ones. And if, if you're one of those energy sources, your body isn't processing right, how do you expect it to burn fat correctly too? So again, it's something that's treatable if you have it. And so you don't have to be full on diabetic to have insulin resistance, right? So, uh, we can catch it early, help you lose weight, and then you can prevent things like diabetes. Uh, and then all those things that come along with it, heart disease, high blood pressure, et cetera. So in summary, four main reasons that we, uh, that keep people from losing weight, thyroid issues, hormone imbalances, PCOS in women and insulin resistance. And just so you know, future episodes, I'm bringing on my medical director on the show, and we are going to dive deep into each one of these, and it's going to be a great conversation. So definitely stay tuned. And how do we find out if you have one of these things going on behind the scenes? Lab work. So you need lab work and you need the right labs. So a lot of people say, oh, here are the labs. And I, and we are looking for very specific tests looking because we do this. This is what we do all day is weight loss. So if we need to make sure we have all the correct tests 
and we need to look at it by a professional who knows exactly what they're looking for. All right, guys, next thing I want to talk about, I want to go back to that free evaluation that you have with one of our weight loss coaches at Real Results, where we go through the different new start packages, whether you need labs or you just need prescriptions or you don't need either of those. We decide on the level of new start package, and then we book all of those appointments. Your new start is we're going to dive deep. What do you need to be eating? When you need to be eating? When do you need to incorporate exercise? We talk about your lifestyle. We talk about all these different things that are going to help you get where you need to go on your journey. So I don't feel like we're, we tell everyone to go do CrossFit every day. That's not, that's not what we're about. People are really hesitant about the whole exercise thing. And I just tell people, if you will walk 20 minutes a day and start there, we're going to get where we're going to go. And we're just going to, we're going to optimize the body one step at a time. And then we figure out how much support you need. So step two is we figure out your support level of this free consultation. So step one, you, we pick your new start visit. Step two, we pick your support level. So your support level is how often you're here, how often you need support. So my patients who come every single week, they get the best results. No doubt about it. They're here every week. They're on our body composition scale. We're making sure they're burning two pounds of fat a week. They're doing lipo B12 injections weekly. And if they are not burning that two pounds of fat, why not? And so we're going to dive into that every single week and set goals for the next week. So if you're really serious about your goals, weekly is definitely the way to go. However, not everyone can come weekly. So we have patients, it, whether it's budget or whether it's their calendar, they will come every other week for that same type of support. And I have patients that come once a month for that kind of support. They live far. We have people who come from all over Georgia. Um, to, and so when they do come for their their monthly appointment, we do a full, full follow-up. And then some people, they don't want lipo B12 and they don't want the, um, the support. They just want to get their medication and we have an option for that too. All right, team, I'm pausing really quick. I want to share with you a free resource that I have on my website. It is a six day healthy lifestyle course, and it is completely free. All you have to do is go to realresultsforlife.com and sign up today. Okay. It is time for Jamie's gems. So this is going to be a sparkly segment each show where I'm going to give you a tip that you can implement right away. Like as soon as this episode is over, you're going to be able to put this into your life and it's going to help you get to where you want to go and get to those real results. So this is the first episode. And so we're going to go all the way back to the basics and talk about the importance of water. Okay. You hear this a lot. So let's just dive in. Okay. First off, why do people not drink a lot of water. So I hear they don't want to wake up and use the restroom all night long. They work too much and they can't take breaks. Those are my nurses and my teachers. My nurses and my teachers are not great at drinking water during the day. And some people just don't like water. It just doesn't taste good. And I'll be honest, my issue with water, I'll do so good one day on water, but guess what? The next day I have to do good again. So for me, it's, I, I get on a good rhythm and then I'll get out of my rhythm and I'm like, oh my gosh, I did it good yesterday, but I didn't do it today. So what is good? How much water do you need? So you will hear that you need half of your body weight in ounces every single day. Okay. So for easy math, if you weigh 200 pounds, you need to have a hundred ounces of water a day. That's a lot for, especially for someone going from a bottle of water to um, 100 ounces, that is a huge jump. What I have people start with is being consistent with 64 ounces of water a day. That's, you've heard this forever, right? Eight, eight ounce glasses of water. If you can start with that and be consistent, that's gonna make a huge difference in your weight loss journey. And not just your weight loss journey. Water is important. Our body is made of, of water and it needs it. It needs to be water to be able to, aid in digestion. It helps us process the fat and get it out of the body. Drinking water increases your energy. It helps improve your hair, skin, and nail health. I mean, it is a game changer. When patients get consistent, you can literally see it. Uh, I'll, we'll set a goal for the week that they're going to do 64 ounces of water every day. The very next week, they just feel different. They have more energy. They're sleeping better. So try it. Okay. That, so here are my tips. Here's the gym. I want you to commit to 64 ounces of water for seven days. Okay. 
Why seven days? Because it takes that long to get your body to trust that the water supply is there. And so what I mean by that is if you've ever heard of people starting a, a new routine, a new diet program, trying to lose weight, that the first week they lose the most, well, that's usually because they're increasing their water intake and their body is dismissing all the water that it's been storing to protect itself. So you're going to feel in the first seven days that you you are using the restroom way more than you are drinking water. And it's true because you may drop three pounds of water and guess how that's getting out. The big but here is once your body drops that retained water, that sensation of constantly using the restroom will go away because your body, it will just start using the water that you're giving it every day. So that's my, that's my first little gem is just commit to seven days and get through that and drop those three pounds of water that most pa most people are carrying around and see how much better you feel. Okay. Um, another tip, add flavor to your water. Uh, it's okay. You do not have to drink plain water. Um, add, you can add, uh, fruit in there. You can add lemon. Lemon is a great one to help, especially with that retained water. It can act like a natural diuretic. So, uh, you can add lemon. You can add those little, uh, there's all sorts of brands of zero calorie, zero sugar flavoring that you can put in your water. And you can also do tea. You can do green tea in the morning. You can do some, uh, sleepy time tea at night. You can do fun seasonal teas. So teas that counts as water. So get the, get the teapot out. <laughs> or if it's really hot outside, we're in Georgia, so it's really hot right now. And so iced tea, <laughs> we're going to, we're going to make that cold. We can't drink anything hot right now. And then my last little tip here is I want you to front load your water. What I mean by that is I want you to drink most of your water before you finish lunch. So let's say we're shooting for four bottles, 16 ounces each. Do one of those right when you wake up, like right in the morning, get that in as, as soon as possible as you're getting ready. Do your second bottle on the way to work if you have a commute, okay? If you don't have a commute, try to get through that in the morning and then have a bottle with lunch, okay? So what this is going to do is actually you're going to use the restroom during the day, what I see happens to people is they'll actually wait till drink their water until the evening when then of course they're going to be up all night. So if you can front load your water and then that way, when you get home, you have one bottle of water to get through. It'll reduce the amount of times that you're getting up at night and it just makes it easier than just waiting to the end of the day, realizing you didn't get 64 ounces of water and then going from there. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Real Results for Life podcast. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and found it educational, inspiring, and full of action steps that you can implement right away in your health and wellness journey. Now, I have a bonus pro tip for you. If you are truly committed to reaching your goals, then hit that subscribe button so that you can stay connected with us and receive regular doses of motivation and tips to keep you moving forward on your journey towards success. And hey, if you're ready to take that next step and really dive deep into your goals, why not book a free phone consultation with me or one of my Real Results team members to design a program specifically for you? We're here to support you every step of the way, and it's what we love to do. So booking that free consultation, it's easy. Just go to realresultsforlife.com and click the book now button. Let's start turning your dreams into reality today. Thank you again for tuning in. Until next time, keep pushing forward towards your goals, stay motivated, and believe in yourself. You've got this.